morning vlog. It's like a morning. Today is picture day for Nova. She picked out her outfit and she has her sandals and her book bag. But yeah, we're just about to drop Novi off to school and then I have to drop the car off for service. Who's calling? I've heard it all Our conversations got me feeling I'm the fool Like I should have listened when they said that you Hey y'all, so I'm in the loner. I don't even know. Let's see. This is like the car version, but I don't know which car it is. And I'm trying to see if I can. This is a Model 3. So Model 3, it's cute or whatever, but I already missed my car. <laughs> um, this one's interesting because it has like a bar right there. Whereas like mine has like the glass, like the whole thing is glass. And obviously it's a car. I feel like I'm close here and I feel like a tall person could not drive this car because I'm five 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 six six ish and I don't know like I just I low-key feel like a little claustrophobic or something but I guess it's just because I'm used to like you know my car and it's my car isn't even like a full-fledged like SUV I don't even know what it's called technically but I just feel like I have more space around my head. <laughs> Anywho, I'm picking up coffee. Um, I just started something new this week. So we just got back from Mexico last week. That should already be up on the channel. Now I'm just, this is like Q2. So Q2 literally started on Monday. And I started taking a class for a new endeavor that I'm going to be doing. So honestly, that's all I've been doing right now because the class is only five days long and it is so time consuming. So I don't have time to do anything else. I wanted to work on a boutique too, but I'm just going to focus on that this week and then probably next week I'm going to um, hopefully finish like finally getting everything set up in the new house. Um, I ordered a couple pieces of furniture, so they should be coming soon, hopefully. And yeah, so all I'm going to be doing this week is doing this class. I don't know if I'm going to like actually say what class I'm going to be doing yet because I don't want to like prematurely speak something, but I'm trusting God to do what he always do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm working on that. That's my main priority this week. So the vlog is probably going to be kind of boring because that's it. Oh, no. But actually, when I get done on Friday, this is Dreamville weekend. So I am i don't even know. I might go to Dreamville. I might not. I always kind of wait last minute. And honestly, this year, I don't care for the lineup. I've already seen J. Cole a million times. I've already seen Jeezy a million times. Those are the only people. Let me pull up and get my coffee. Hold on. Last year we did like a private party with like the Dreamville people. Um, it was a vibe. It was like, it was not really a lot of local people there from Raleigh. It was more so like the people that traveled in um, to come to Dreamville. So let's see, obviously I met J. Cole for the first time. I've been around him, but I've never like actually met him. He was so cool. Um, he literally like was coming up to people like, hi, how are you? I'm J. Cole. It was so cute. He's just so humble. So that was like a cool experience. I wanted to literally like freak out, but I had to play it cool. I was like pretty much acted like I didn't even care. I was like, hi, I'm Tika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> But the inside of me was going crazy because J. Cole is literally my favorite rapper. And it's just amazing to me that the the best rapper in the world is from North Carolina. Period. Point blank period. Like there's no better rapper than J. Cole. Unless I just never heard your stuff before. Like I am like a J. Cole stan. This is a J. Cole stan account, okay? So that was super cool. And then, um, oh, let's see, who else was there? I don't know, it was a lot of people there. I, Taylor Rooks was there, which was pretty cool. Um, 
and we were like standing next to each other at the bar and that's one thing I regret like I always have said like I want to style Taylor Rooks because like I just feel like I don't know I just be wanting to style sister and I just I love her so much and I think she does have like a stylist or she works with stylists sometimes now but that would have been the perfect opportunity and I didn't say anything but I learned my lesson because going forward now it's like I I open my mouth like if I feel like I could be of service to someone um whether they're you know someone I know or don't like I'm gonna go for it you know what I'm saying um so yeah, I bet, I wonder who's in that truck. But anywho, um, dang, what was I about to say? Yeah, so then, oh, I actually went to Dreamville last year. I've went all the years except one, and that was because I had food poisoning and I was sick. It was the first one and I missed it, I was so hot. But anywho, um, I also went to Drake's private party and I'm gonna insert a clip here um, if I can remember when I'm editing to do it um, I went to Drake's private party at Dave and Buster's that was a vibe but Drake was like he literally he sat on a stool with his hookah the whole entire time like he didn't everybody else was like going around playing games and it really wasn't a lot of people like at all but it was a cool experience i guess i'm just very much like i i like celebrities are cool but i've been around celebrities enough to know like they real regular you know what i'm saying like hey y'all so just got a package from good old asos let's open it up i need some scissors i don't have any scissors that i can find so i'm gonna use this this is like a cake scraper but I'm kind of confused about this package because I ordered two sh pairs of shoes. So I don't know how they both are in here. So let's see. All right, so first things first, got some new Nikes. Oh, they put the glasses in here. Okay. All right, so I got some new Nikes and here they are. The box is so little. Sneakers are my thing. Um, when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, these are so cute. They're giving vintage vibes and I'm really into vintage looking stuff right now. So here they are. And I didn't get these because I saw an influencer with them or whatever. I'm not one of those type girls. Like I get what I like. I like these. I was just looking on the site. Um, and they're so cute. I love the color. I feel like they're going to look super cute on my feet. And I love, like, I don't know if y'all can see, like, the texture of it. Do y'all see? It's, like, kind of rough. So it has, like, a rugged look, a vintage look. I just think they're so cute. So that's the first pair of shoes. Next up, I got these shoes. I don't know why. Like, sometimes ASOS don't put your shoes in a box. I feel like, honestly, it's for shipping purposes, and they just don't want to pay to ship in the box. Um, so like with, with hills and stuff, they really don't. So these are public desire, but from the ASO site. Um, these are cute. <laughs> I actually have some shoes like this already. They're like a baby pink color, but I needed some like silver shoes. I love the fact that the heel isn't that high, so they should be comfortable. Um, my pink ones that I have like this, I don't wear them except like to take pictures, honestly, but they're comfortable. Um, these are so cute. I just needed some silver shoes. I have some silver shoes, but they're like platform and they're, they're just a lot. And I just wanted something a little more simple and basic. This is like a little classic looking shoe. Um, I can't remember the brand. There's like a designer brand that makes this style shoe, but I'll take the dupe. <laughs> so these are cute. And lastly, I got these little glasses. So I actually have these. I have the Gucci versions of them, which were an arm and a leg. <laughs> but anyway, my mom, like she wore them one day because she was like obsessed with them and she wanted me to get her a pair, but I couldn't find them anymore. And then when I was like just looking on ASOS site, I saw that they had a dupe of them and they literally looked the same. 
I will like show y'all my Gucci ones compared to these and let y'all know what I think. But honestly, like <laughs> they pretty much look just like them. They just don't have the G's on the side, but it's like, who cares? I don't care about stuff like that. I just really like the glasses. I don't care. Like I don't buy stuff because it's designer. Like I buy stuff because I actually like it. But honestly, like these are good enough of a dupe for real, for real. Um, they seem like sturdy. They don't seem cheap or anything like that. I mean, a win is a win. I wish I would have gotten these instead of the Gucci one. <laughs> but yeah, um, that, that, I can't talk. That's my little ASOS haul. Um, I do need to try the shoes on and stuff to make sure that everything fits. I have a weird fetish I needed to hear it. for smelling rubber. You've been trying to tell me. It smells so good. I love getting new sneakers for that reason. Yes, the TV is still on the floor. <laughs> Every time I start recording, Stormy, which never, she never plays with her toys ever. But when I start recording, it's like she wants to play with her toys. I really don't understand. Please explain to me. Storm, and what is that tissue from? Why do you always want to play with stuff? You never play with your toys, but then when I get on this camera, you want to play with toys. I don't get it. And then she picks up the biggest toy that she has. Like, she has the cutest little toys, and they're like very much for her size, but she wants to play with that big one. I don't understand it. What are you doing? Come on, touch toy. Get the toy. Where's your toy? You don't want to play with that one? You want to play with this one? Fine. Look, and now she don't want to play with it. <laughs> Girl, what is your problem? Give me that. Give me that. pick this camera back up again because when I tell y'all it's so good like oh my god this salmon it just it's so flavorful and y'all saw I only used like three little seasonings mm. Got a package, I'm so excited for it. I ordered it yesterday. My friend Mika, shout out to Mika, Navy's mom. Um, she highly recommended that I purchase this. And I was like, I mean, like, I have, I already have one. It explains everything well, whatever, whatever. She's like, no, you have to get this one. So I did. So I got the She Reads Truth Bible. I'm super excited about it again because like I said, I already have a book, but she just raves so much about it. So I'm like, let me see why. <laughs> um, as you all know, I've been like heavy into the word this year. That's like one of my main priorities is making sure that I read a couple of chapters a day of the word and just read the word for myself. I've heard the word from other people all of my life. I was, um, I'm a preacher's kid, so my whole childhood consisted of church almost every single day. And this year I tasked myself with reading it for myself. So not saying I never read the Bible before, but like literally it's like a part of my routine every single day. So this is her, she's a beauty. Um, I think that in my, I'm in my era of like neutral colors. And it's crazy because if you know me, you know, like. My whole brand is all about like bright colors and stuff and I generally gravitate towards it. But nowadays, I'm the complete opposite, which is crazy. I like to add pops of color, but I don't like to wear like, well, I still do because majority of my wardrobe is like that. 
but things that I buy going forward are more geared towards neutral things. Um, so anyway, it's so pretty. It's so, it's just pretty, period. It's a hard cover. My other Bible, I wish it's upstairs next to my bed, but my other Bible is like a leather material. It's the Bible that my dad got me. I think it's the New Living Translation. So it's like the Bible that has all the words. You can understand it. It has the footnotes explaining everything. And I don't know what this one has, but let's see. Maybe I should do like once I like get into this one, I can kind of like tell y'all a little bit more about it. But for example, on the first page for Genesis, it has on the timeline, it has a little background and the message and purpose. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to start reading this and I'll read it in conjunction with my other one. If I don't understand something, I'll open up my other one and read the footnotes because this one doesn't have footnotes, which is interesting. I've never had a Bible that didn't have footnotes because honestly, you want the footnotes. But on the flip side, like sometimes when I read the footnotes in my Bible, I'm like, I don't understand how they got to that point. That, that scripture does not specifically say what's in the footnotes type of thing. Like I only like it for when it gives context towards like, like something that happened in the Bible at a previous time or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like when it's like opinion based in the footnotes and sometimes it is. So I think that this will be cool for me because I can read the word for exactly what it says. And again, if I need help understanding something, then I can go over to my other Bible and do so. So I'm excited for this. Again, it's so pretty, like literally so pretty. I do like it. It has two little thingies, two little, um, what's this called? I don't know, bookmarks or whatever. So this is interesting. Um, it even has like, it's kind of like giving devotional style. So right here, I just open it up and it says read and understand Esther. So it has like a reading path. So it has um, like, you know, you read Esther one through five and then it even has more scriptures that you can go deeper into pertaining to that chapter. So that's pretty cool. I don't know, I'm just excited to dig into this. The pages are kind of thin. They're like, they make me nervous. They're so thin, like, oh my God, I wish y'all could see. But I feel like, I don't know. I like it, I like it, I'm excited. I gotta finish this class, but really and truly, I just wanna dig into this and get going, but I don't have, I can't say I don't have time, but I need to finish this class. But again, I'm so excited for my new Bible. Oh yeah, I'll leave the link. Um, she sent me the link to the actual website for She Reads Truth, but I went on Amazon because one thing about me, I'm going on Amazon first because I trust Amazon. I know it's gonna be delivered the next day. My card information is already in Amazon. So I went on there and on the website, I think it was like $50. On Amazon, it was on sale for like $24. So. Conversations got me feeling I'm the fool Like I should have listened when they said that you Would treat me like he did Alright y'all, so I'm back from the gym. I had a really, really good workout. Um, my nail broke. Dang it. I lost to I better polish my nails before one of them break. And just now one of them broke. Anywho! All right, let me tell y'all, by no means am I a fitness girly, okay? I, I don't like working out, but like once I start working out and like I'm consistent with it, it's like I crave it. And I think that's like a normal thing for everybody when you start working out, it's like your body like craves it or whatever. So we in this stage where it's like, I gotta work out. Um, so I drank a Celsius which helps me out so much <laughs> when I work out because it's like, if I don't have something to drink or like a pre-workout or something like that, I shorten all of my reps. I'll be ready to go before I even get in there. But when I have my drinks or my pre-workouts, honey, I will stay in that gym all day. 
today I didn't because I knew I had to come home and do some stuff. But anyway, I stayed in there for like an hour. I always like work out on the elliptical. That's like my first little thing, my cardio. Um, unless I work out on my Peloton, but my Peloton's in the garage right now. And I don't know, I haven't started back doing that, but I do want to get back to that for the days that I don't go to the gym, even though I go to the gym right here. But anywho, um, what the heck was that? Oh, did the elliptical. I like the elliptical because it's like you're working your legs and your butt and your arms because I always do this thing. So it's so good. And then I did my Capri Curves. Um, keep, what is it called? Keep the Curves program. I do the 2.0. I've done it before and it it really works like I'm not even kidding you and I don't even like follow it to a T you're supposed to do three rounds when I do it I do like one or two rounds most of the time one and then um it has cardio whatever whatever it also has like a meal plan type of thing I don't really follow that either I just eat clean you know what I'm saying I eat the things that I like that's like on the cleaner side and I make sure I don't eat like super bad stuff like I'm not going to Chick-fil-a Actually, I did go to Chick-fil-A yesterday just for a um, chicken biscuit. But I don't do all the things that I normally do when I just don't care. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to McDonald's. I'm not going to Wendy's. I'm not going to, like, fast food and stuff like that. Um, if I do, it's maybe, like, once or twice a week, if that. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't eat candy. Candy is my literal weakness. So I don't eat candy when I'm working out and I don't snack. I'm a snacker. I love snacks. I love chips. I love all the things that's bad. I don't do any of that. I really just stick to like fruits and vegetables, um, salmon and chicken and shrimp. That's like my go-to when I'm eating clean. Um, what was I saying? I keep forgetting what I'm saying. It's that daggone Celsius, y'all. I'm on a 10 right now. <laughs> um, so I did the Capri Curves whatever and then I went on Apple Fitness because I have Apple Fitness I have like I'm the person that pays for the family plan and the family plan the more expensive one comes with like fitness Apple Fitness Plus or something like that they have so many um workouts and stuff on there it's pretty cool I don't know why I don't take advantage of it more but I did a Pilates class it was just 10 minutes and then when the Pilates class was over, it prompted me to do like a cool down. And the cool down was a five minute workout or meditation type of stretch thing or whatever. I really liked it because like the music they were playing was giving like spa vibes. It was just really relaxing and I never stretch, which is so bad. So I got to stretch. I feel good. I'm about to take my shower. I haven't washed my face yet because um, normally I like to work out in the mornings, but because I'm doing this class, my days are a little wonky. So normally when I get up, I say no to school, then I go work out and then I go, I mean, I come back home and I take my shower, do my skincare, all that stuff. But today that didn't happen. I feel like my skin is so dry. I hate it. <laughs> like I literally hate the way my skin feels right now. So I'm about to go take my shower, my cold shower. I love a cold shower after the gym. It's crazy. I'm about to take my shower. Um, probably like lay in the bed for a little bit. It's 420. I got to pick up Nova by six. So I'm gonna take my shower, do my skincare routine. And then kind of like just lounge around while doing that class because I have to be done by tomorrow. So, yeah.
y'all. Marshall's was a bust today. Granted, I didn't like look around like how I normally would because I was really going in there because I accidentally threw all of my pots away except the ones that were dirty and in the dishwasher when we moved. So I was like, I'm hoping to like catch a really good set of pans for a deal at like Home Goods TJ Maxx Marshalls. But nothing was in there unfortunately um so now i'm actually about to go to the grocery store um i need to get dinner um yeah so i'm about to go get some dinner i hate driving like loner cars or anyone else's car because i don't know it's like you're so much more comfortable when it's yours you know but um we thugging it out with it. And actually, I'm about to try and like break into my car <laughs> to get my garage opener because I forgot to take my garage opener out when I dropped the car off and I'm gonna pass by um, the Tesla dealership. So, wish me luck that I can get into my own car. I think I can because obviously I have like my, um, my phone is my key and then I have the actual key. So one or the other should work. So I'm gonna go try and break in. I also need to go to Target. Well, actually, I might go to Walmart since it's right here. What is happening? $40 for tissue? 40? That's crazy. That's so crazy. So I normally get this kind. It looks like it's $20 but I was looking on Target's site and people were liking this. So I'm gonna try a smaller pack and see how I like it. I also have, I don't even know how much those are. Is there 20? 18 rolls. 12 rolls. I don't know how much these are. Oh, I guess they're $11.99. Yeah, we're gonna try them. Y'all, I'm mad because why my car don't have this? Like, if my car's supposed to be lit, but it don't have that. Do all Teslas have that and mine just don't work? <sighs> well, we picked up this little munchkin. My little munchkin. My little munchkin. Say hello. Hello. Put your jacket on because we gotta go to the grocery store. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you need to see? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, she's being weird. <laughs> so. Y'all remember these things that I had to have from Merlinton Coat Factory? I haven't used them yet, but I'm about to be so fancy right now and put my grapes in there. Well, that might be too many. Look, I actually am using it for something. Mmm. Y'all, here's Teeter, and whatever brand that is, oh shoot, so daggone good. This is like my candy. <laughs> what? Wow. I'm vlogging. Come here. Look at what I did. What is that? Remember the thing that I told you I had got for like, I didn't know what exactly, but I just thought it was cute. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm using it for. Look, if you're like sitting somewhere, ooh, that's still hot. Um, oh, see, you can't be aggressive. This is for the elegant people. Like you gotta be gentle. You can't be just like jerking it off all good. <laughs> but no, if I were to take all the um, grapes off the vine and then just put them in there, mm. you know what? Nah, I'm about to do something so cool. <laughs> Your daughter. Hello. I just 
fell out of the bag. What are you making? Um, things for adults that should be up at this time of night. I want one. Out the camera. No, I have no clothes on. Move. Yeah, I have a towel. What are you, how, how are you going to make it? I don't know. That's like, oh, no fair. Oh, I know what you're doing. You're putting a bunch of snacks in the bowl and then, like, yeah. Now you eat it. Or you put mommy juice in it. Oh, and great, like, soap mommy juice. Like, I mean, I not juice. I was like, I guess that's sangria. It's giving. Giving the vibes. It's giving the vibes. And I mean, like, obviously I could do even more with this, but you get the gist. The little girl that's supposed to be asleep. Oh. Hello, everyone. Tell everyone what time it is. It is 9.58. 9.58. Is it a school night? Yes. So. So. The I'm question that sucks. needs. Huh? I'm supposed to stay up this time. Why? Because. Because what? I'm the same height and I'm an adult now. <laughs> I want to make it. How do you just put grapes in there? So this is kind of like a cup charcuterie. And you know what's crazy? I read something. Um, it was like on my Apple News. Y'all, we have Apple News, Apple Fitness, Apple everything yes. on our phones for yes. free. Yes. Apple Fitness. Because I, I'm paying for a group thing and yes. I have to have like the yes. biggest one. Because yes. Nova. <laughs> oh my yes. God. <laughs> yes, sleeping. <laughs> Presenting sleeping. <laughs> Guys, we have this big box of goldfish. It's so big. It's like a milk carton. You open it like this, and then you just pour it out like it's milk. Um. Well, I like to just get the chat and just look it up in hand. No. I know y'all think that she's acting like this for the camera. But I promise you, this is literally how this little girl acts. Like this is not a. This is this is actually how I talk when, when I'm in the, like my mom and dad and like when I get shy and sleepy like that. Mommy, can so I have? Do... This is how I talk. Mommy, can I have some cereal? That is exactly how you talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how you. That's like when you... I'm sleepy or when like I'm shy. Talk. Talk like your country voice. Yes. Okay. Oh, let's see what I should say. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I have so many voices. Guys. Yeah, what about, let's see. What about your, um, what is it? Britain or British? What is it? That little language you'll speak? I think it's British. Okay. Br Br British. Yes. Go ahead. Say. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Mother what? Can I have some cereal? <laughs> Did you say cereal? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all don't know. Guys, this is how it looks. I put a lot of goldfish on it. You can see the pretzels. The You can barely even see the grapes, but there's one right there. So yeah. And... Mom, is this still the video that we went to Royals and Splash? No. So go check out our video where we went to Royals and Splash for spring break for me, and it was so fun. Royals and Splash is in Cancun, Mexico, so make sh make sure you take your kids there for spring break. Or if you're watching this and you're a kid, ask your mom. Oh wow, Royalty and Splash owes us some money. Yes it does, it's like, <coughs> it's like a thousand dollars. 